welcome back to my channel. Today I'm unboxing the BoxyCharm base box for the month of March. Um, I typically get the Boxy Lux box, but I was not too thrilled with it. So I decided to downgrade my normal box and just get the base box this month and don't think it worked out too well anyways, <laughs> but we'll see. Let me first start by going through the products I received in my February box. Um, we did not get a card, did we? No, we did not get a card last month. So I will have the prices and the exact name of the products up here, unless I did and I lost it. But I don't have, a, I usually try to keep my cards in the boxes until I go over them and I just don't have it. So the first thing in the box is this lipstick by Cuvine or Queen, however you would like to say that. Kind of a unique name. It is definitely a liquid lipstick. It is so pretty. It has kind of this mauve pink color. It's just so pretty. I love this. I used it for at least a week, maybe even two weeks. It's just a really good everyday color for me. Like this is something I would wear literally every day. It's like a kind of a your lips, not really your lips are better. It's like a step above your lips. <laughs> So it's a little bit darker than like my lip color and obviously a little more heightened, but I love it. It's, I, I just, I love it. I think it is so good. Very, very happy with that. The next thing that we got were these brushes from Alamar, I believe is how you said it. I didn't know how to say it in my last video, but um, I've loved them. I've actually used them twice. I've I've used them more than twice. I've washed them twice. I washed them when I first got them. I used them and then I washed them um, just recently. And I think I've already used them. This one for sure I've already used again. But I like them. I love the uniqueness of this big one. It kind of has a textured center. And this one's great for setting your under eyes. Highlighter. This could be good for contouring, blush. I mean, even um, this could be good for contouring. It's a little big, but it could be good foundation, anything. I really liked the quality of these. They washed really well. They're very soft and gentle. I am, I really like this. I think this box was really good and I don't know if I was that happy with it last month when I opened it, but now that I've tried all the products, I really am. The next thing that we got was this blush, not blush, setting powder from Ciate London. I wasn't sure if I had this already because we had gotten one of their powders a few months ago and I do really like it. I didn't, um, I only used it one time and you know, it, it has a nice, it has a nice silky feel to it. I don't know what I want to say. It's my, it'd be my favorite setting powder. Um, but I'll definitely use it. And if I decide I'm not using it, I'm, I'm sure my daughters will love this. So I do think it's good, not my favorite, but definitely not a bad product. The next thing that we got, and I actually did not open, did I? No, I didn't think I did. Cause I have another one of these open, not this brand, but a different brand. So I didn't want to open these, but I have used these. This is the Fab or First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance, Radiance Pads. These are actually really good. I don't think they do much for your skin, but I feel like it's a good extra step to do if you've had like a heavy makeup day. So you've washed your makeup, you maybe double cleansed, and then you tone or something, and then you can even use these or use these instead of a toner. And it kind of gets even more makeup off if anything is left. I just, I do really like those for that purpose. I don't really feel like it does much with exfoliating or brightening tone maybe, but I do think they're good. I have bought these in the past. I probably have bought them twice before, so I don't hate them but I definitely feel like I can find better, cheaper alternatives, but they're a good product. If you like, if you can afford it and like them, they're a good product. And then the last, I'm out of breath. And then the last product is from Kate Somerville. It is the Kate Bio Mimicking Peptides. I did use this for one week. I liked it. I just don't know if it made that much of a difference. Um, and that's why I like to generally use products i just don't like the smell actually i think that's what it was but it's kind of a yellow liquidy formulation as you can see it's just dripping right down my hand and 
yeah, that smells artificial or plasticky, which I didn't like or love, especially if I was going to be paying $98, I think is what this cost, something like that, for this, if I wouldn't like that plasticky smell. To me, that doesn't sound good. But... I don't know. Let me know if you got this and that's how yours is or smells. I was kind of taken back by the color thinking that maybe it was old and that's why it's this yellow color. I probably should look up some videos and see because that kind of also put me off a little bit. So I don't really have too much great things to say about it, but I am going to be a little bit more picky when it is a $100 product because if I'm going to pay hundred bucks, it better be doing lots of good things. Anyways, so it's not really my favorite product, but I definitely think this box was really good. You got a lot of great products. Um, the brushes were great. The lipstick was great. Those are probably my two favorite products this month. Let's get in to the next box and let's hope that there is a card because I would hate it. I have looked in here. I already know what's in here. I wanted to make sure, um, I don't know what I want to make sure. I wanted to look. So, oh, but you know what? There isn't a card. Oh my gosh, I got no card. I wonder now if everybody else got no card. Why am I getting no card every time now? That's a bummer. That actually annoys me more than anything. So, let's get into it. Hopefully, I'll be able to share with you a little bit about the products. The first thing is the Murad Hydro Dynamic Ultra Moisture for Eyes. I love eye creams. I love Murad, so I'm sure this will be great. Um, it just in a little jar like this. Let's see if it's closed. Oh, it's definitely full, which is great. This will last me forever because I feel like eye creams, you use such a tiny bit that they can last for a really long time. So that's great. The next thing that I got in my box was the Becca Ultimate Lip Definer in the color Vacation. Looks like I'm going to love the color. I'm actually really excited about this. Um, so it looks like it has, oh, it looks like it's melted. Look at this. Can you guys see that it like looks all messed up? <laughs> um, not that matters. It is kind of a warm nude. I'll get an up close shot. But it has that on that end and then it has, oh, a sharpener and kind of a smudgier, smudgier, a smudger type rubber tip on that end. But it's, you know, kind of a nude, a warm nude color. Definitely a color that I would wear more than a lot of others. So I'm really excited to try that out, see what that is like. The next thing I got is the Kat Von D Signature Brow, which I didn't know they made a brow product. I don't know. It's in the color, I believe, Gratitude. So and it has it in black, and it says Gratitude, so I'm hoping it's not a black eyebrow pencil. You do have a spoolie, which is nice. Let's see. Oh my gosh, it's really dark, and it is black. So I don't know why they would send out a black eyebrow pencil, especially in this one. Like I said, I had to like really drag to get any color off on this. So I don't know if it's old. I've it was graphite, not gratitude, graphite. So black eyebrow pencil. Well, this is precision pencil. What does this say? Signature brow precision pencil. So yeah, I would assume it's for your brows. Who would use black? I mean, if you don't have black hair, you're not gonna use this. So this is kind of a waste product for me. That's what I'm saying. I don't think this is that great of a box. And I know many people were complaining about the um, Boxy Lux box and this one, unfortunately, isn't much better. All right, the next thing I got is from Appeal Ultra Cream Lipstick, and mine is in the color, got the plastic off, so this is in, what's the color, you can hardly read on here, Mood, I believe is the color, it is kind of a cool little packaging, it's very pretty, um, it looks to be kind of a red color, so let's, 
I mean, maybe not too red, maybe more of um, a rose color, which is actually good. I'll wear rose. So hopefully this will be nice. We'll see how that goes. Um, and then the last product that again, I know most people were not thrilled with is Boxy Charms First Eyeshadow Palette. This actually doesn't look terrible to me. Um, it's called Hello Charmer. We got a lot of nice um, sparkle type shades. I'm really excited to try this one out. I think that one's, oh, it's a pressed glitter. I don't know if I'll wear that. Oh, that's, it's really, um, let me see if I can show you. It's swatched really well. It's really, how can I show that? What did I do? Okay. Can you see it? It's really pretty. Uh, it has a little bit of pigment to it, but the problem is it's really chunky, which I don't typically have to put on my eyes, but I do think it is absolutely gorgeous. I think this will be a fun palette. I mean, it is a, definitely a very warm palette, but I think some of these colors will be really fun to play around with. So that was everything that I got in my box. I will say I'm, I'm, I'm excited about the palette, the eye cream, the lipstick, the liner, the lip liner. The only thing that is a total dud for me is a brow pencil because it came in the color black and I don't have black hair. So I probably don't know if I'll even use that. I'll probably toss it. I don't even know anyone with black hair that I can think of off the top of my head. I'll just think about it a little bit longer, but I definitely like four of these products, which is definitely a good month, I think. And yeah, I am super excited to give these a try out. Let me know what you got. Did you end up getting the Boxy Lux or did you get the base box, box, base box like I did? And thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I will see you guys in my next video.